Hello. So today I finally got my delivery of, um, I have so many deliveries out for Lush, but my Lush Christmas bauble bath melt tablets. I got those today and I was able to get nine of the ten different kinds that they had. I wasn't able to get the orange which is the hot toddy scented one because that one sold out in minutes and it has an, a dried orange slice on it and a little cinnamon stick on it. It's orange and yellow and that one was made in the hot toddy fragrance. So it's got orange and a little bit of cinnamon. It's kind of a Christmas spice one. That one went in minutes, but I did order one from Germany. And so that one will be coming uh, in a week or two, I guess, and I will re uh, review and demo that one for you. And so, uh, but I was able to get the other nine, and so now I'm just gonna go through those and describe what they smell like, what their scents are, and. What, show you what they look like and I'm going to be doing individual videos demo videos of all of these things so that I can put on my blog so they're all on one page called the lush uh, lush bauble bath melts I believe it's called and I list all of these in, in alphabetical order and then I have links to the one to, then I have links to them and they have their own page with their own photos, their own tub photo, their own demo, their own written review for each one and their own rating for each one. As I said in my blog, um, most of these bath melts are made in current scents uh, that current bath oils are made in. They're redesigned current bath oils, except for two or three, which are scents of popular Lush products that are not bath oils currently. And so now I'm going to show you this first one. This first one is called Iron Harvest. Iron Harvest. And it's my favorite visually because it's a gorgeous purple color and it's got purple and gold in it. And this one was made with ginger and lavender, chamomile, and jasmine. And this one was made in the Lush Dreamtime Bath Oil fragrance. Dreamtime. And so I will put a link of my blog page for the Dreamtime Bath Melt so you can see how I rated that, but I'll be doing its own video here of this here in a minute. This is a demonstration of the Iron Harvest, lavender, chamomile, and jasmine, bubble bath melt. So you can see what these do in the tub. Now, these are about three times or four times bigger than the actual bath oils, that, you know, the current bath oils I was telling you about on my haul video. So they're really big and you can use them for more than one bath. I'm using the whole thing for this demo and it makes the water silky and the purple oil looks really cool. It's floating, sitting on top of the water and moving around. It looks like some kind of space jellyfish. And for those of you who don't like glitter, this one doesn't have as much glitter as the original Dreamtime bath melt does. In fact, it doesn't have any glitter to speak of. So that's good for those of you who don't like it. At least I can't see any. And to show you guys who asked me if it stains, uh, no. I'm going to get this all over my hand and just demonstrate how easy it is to get off my hand. So here it is. And now watch. All I'm doing, and I can't use both hands because I have the, my iPhone camera in one hand and my hand in the other. But look how easy. It's gone. Completely gone. So it doesn't stain. Well, after using, I would suggest using it by hanging it on the tub and then letting it 
kind of letting the waterfall hit it like this while it's hanging off of the tub instead of just adding it to the hot water like I did here because it would take forever to melt and the, this other way takes much quicker. So there's that. I would rate this bath melt a five out of five rating. So that is the lavender, and this is the one that is to promote sleep. Lavender and chamomile are often used in various aromatherapy for inducing sleep and helping one to relax. So that's the iron harvest. The second one I'm gonna show you is my favorite smelling of the bunch. The first one was my favorite look, this is my favorite scent of the nine that I purchased. This one is called Winter's Night or Winter Night. And I got two of each. And basically it looks like you've got the ground and trees and the trees have white on them. And the sky is a dark purple color. So it's Winter Night. Now, this was made with the Furs Bath Oil fragrance. And a furs bath oil is made with jasmine, absolute, and coconut. And Lush also makes a hand scrub. And um, it, the hand scrub is made in the same fragrance also. It's a very creamy, coconutty, floral scent that I find just intoxicating. And it's particularly beautiful in this um, bath tablet. I really like the scent. Now, s some of these, or most of these, when I first smelled it, I could tell what scent it was supposed to be. Um, it, now, oddly, the furs one, I, f I eventually figured it out on my own, but it took a while. When I first smelled furs, it's, it smelled like such a gorgeous, creamy floral, slightly sweet. And furs, for me, a little goes a long way. I have some perfume of furs here. A little goes a long way. It's very strong, it's very sweet. But in the bath melt, it's not as cloying as it is in the perfume. Yet, it is nice and strong. It's not a weak scent at all, but it's not a cloying, as cloyingly sweet, or I don't think it is, than the actual bath oil or the hand um, cream coconut um, hand scrub or the furs perfume. So I love it. I think it's the best smelling of the bunch. It smells like a creamy white floral and it's gorgeous. So that one is Winter Night. Now Lush made four different kinds that are round, okay? He made, Lush made four different kinds that are round and the rest are rectangular. So this one, like I said, this is Iron Harvest Lavender, that's round and it's purple. This one, which is Winter's Night, is also round. And that's the first one. It's also kind of purpley, gray. And then there's this one and this one. So these are all the different round ones. See the difference in the round ones? Those are the round ones. This one is pinkish with silver and it has snowflakes. This one's red and it has a kind of a dragony kind of motif, red and silver. This one is purple and gold. And this one is white and gray purple. This next one, the red one, this one is called Dragon's Temple Bauble Bath Tablet. And this one is made in the Delight bath oil scent, which is lime and pepper, Delight. And I'll give you a link to that, to my Delight page as well with my, and it's just a slightly sort of nondescript, subtle, lime scent. To me, it smells 
silvery. It smells like, um, I don't know, it just, it smells like silver metal. It smells like the bath oil looks, basically. It's all silver. This one is red with silver on it. But it's kind of nondescript. So I would say this is my least favorite scent of the bunch, or maybe, maybe not my least, my second least favorite scent of the bunch, but I bet this is going to make really pretty bath art. So that one is called Dragon's Temple, and that has the delight scent with lime and black pepper. The next one is called Amelia Kringle, Amelia Kringle. And this one is pink, and it has silver snowflakes and silver glitter on it really pretty and this one was made in the melting marshmallow moments bath oil scent which is the candy fluff scent it's made with vanilla and clove so it's very sp sweet and very pink <laughs> and it smells somewhat like snow fairy but it's a, a little more kind of just a little bit more clove in it so it's close to snow fairy but if you've ever smelled melting marshmallow moment or candy fluff that's what this smells like that's the same scent so it smells fruity and sweet and bright and a little spicy i like it i think most people would like this one So those are all the round ones. Now the rectangular ones, we have the Merry Christmas bath melt. Now these can be used as Christmas ornaments or they can be used as gift tags on a, get, on a present. Or of course, you can use them uh, yourself. Now the Merry Christmas one I'm very excited about the Merry Christmas one. It's gold and gorgeous, and it's made in the Lush Berry Berry Christmas fragrance. So Lush made a Christmas shower gel last year called Berry Berry Christmas, and myself and a lot of others just fell in love with it. And so Lush has made these in that scent. It's made with orange oil. It smells very bright and fruity, gorgeous and sweet. It's just one of the best scents ever. So that might be my first or second favorite smelling bath tablet other than furs. The next one is called Anise Stars. And it has these little seeds on them that are star shaped. And these seeds, the star shaped seeds, are called star anise seeds. And they give sort of a licoricey taste to cookies and some baked goods. And you'll see there are some clove buds here as well. That would lead one to believe that this is a spicy, sort of Christmas spicy, cinnamony kind of scent. However, I think Lush has been naughty elves this year because they made this in the ginger fragrance. Ginger. I don't like ginger. <laughs> A lot of people do though. Ginger is a very, very floral, strong, bitter scent. It's made with rose oil, jasmine oil, ginger oil, and it's very floral, very not sweet at all. Um, if you know the Lush Shower Gel called Badass or the Lush Shower Gel called Ginger, uh, they made a bubble bar called Ginger Cat, a soap called Ginger. Ginger was one of Lush's signature fragrances when they were called Cosmetics To Go. It was a perfume and they had a lot of other bath products in that scent. So I was disappointed because I thought this would smell like anise, star anise seeds and clove, which I like. I really like that kind of scent, but it doesn't. It smells very, I would call it an old lady floral. So that is star anise. 
Alrighty, and that I think is my least favorite bath melt of the bunch. Next is the Snowman Bath Bobble Bath Melt Bath Oil, whatever you want to call them. Tablets, bath tablets. And these are made with cocoa butter, of course, and they melt. You place them in an already filled tub in the hot water, melts the cocoa butter, and it softens your skin, fragrances your skin, and makes the water a little bit colored. And alternatively, you can hang it from the tap and let the water fall on it, but a lot of us like the show and the relaxing show that it puts on as it melts in the already filled tub. It's up to you how you like to use them. You don't have to use the whole thing. You can just use half if you like. You can break it off and use half. And the snowman fragrance. Hmm. This one smells really nice. And this one. Now this one kind of smells like lime pastilles bath oil, but it also smells like the double vitality bath oil, so I'm not sure which one it is. So this smells very, 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 very citrusy. And there's also a little mint in there. Mmm. So I think a lot of people will like this one. If you like limes, this one is more, even though it has mint in it, it's not a what I would call a minty scent. In other words, it's like lime with a little tiny bit of mint. Okay, does that make sense what this smells like now? Gorgeous, very bright, very bright. I just love this. This is my third favorite. Last one, second to last one. This one is called Retro Tree, Retro Tree, and this one is the Floating Island fragrance, Floating Island bath melt fragrance. Floating Island is made with lemon oil and sandalwood. Now, Floating Island, in my opinion, Lush has sold Floating Island since the 90s in one form or another as a bath melt, okay? Today they sell it as one of those little uh, solid bath oils. And it's one of the softest slash weakest scents of the bunch. It's very light, very, very light smelling, okay? It's kind of got a like a sort of nondescript creaminess about it. It's only, it's not really sweet, it's, or if it is, it's barely sweet. Like I say, it's extremely hard to, to smell, as is all Floating Island products are extremely hard to smell. I really wish they would have left alone the Floating Island, the original Floating Island that looked like a giant white cupcake because you could really smell it in there and it was very creamy and it looked like a floating island. So that was really cool. So the last but not least one, this one is called Saint Basil or Saint Basil, depending on how you like to pronounce it. And this one, this one is made in what seems like the jungle scent. So, yeah, this is the jungle scent. Or at least that's what it smells like to me. <laughs> and Lush makes a solid hair conditioner that is green called Jungle. And a lot of people really like that fragrance because it smells like a forest. Not like pine. It just smells like green trees and forests, dark woody greens, and a little bit of fruitiness. And that is exactly what this smells like. It's a very comforting scent. It's not a you know, weird scent. It's just a very green, green forest scent. And so I would rate this scent a three out of five. So that's St. Basil, St. Basil. 
I would rate the Merry Christmas one a 5 out of 5 rating. I would rate <laughs> I would rate the Iron Harvest one a 5 out of 5 rating. I would rate the Amelia Kringle one a 4 out of 5 rating. I would rate the Snowman also a 4 out of 5 rating. Maybe a 5 out of 5. Maybe a 4 and a half out of 5. <laughs> um, the, the Winter Night or Furs mm. Salted Coconut Hand Scrub Fragrance. Mm. I would rate this one a 4 and a half out of 5 also. Maybe a 5 out of 5, depending on the color. Dragon's Temple, I would rate this one a two and a half out of five. I don't like the scent. And the Anisar one or Aniseed uh, one, I would rate the Aniseed one uh, a two out of five rating. And so I hope that helps as far as the scent descriptions and you know which one is which and uh, so if you have any questions about any of these just let me know and I'll, I'll try to answer as soon as I can and I'll leave links below to those bath oils that I mentioned and uh, to my blog page thanks so much for watching I'm really excited for Valentine's Day lush Valentine's and I am entering in different lush Valentine's product photos in my blog as we speak so Thanks so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon on the next video. Bye bye.